You're going to talk about stem and leaf plots. My learning target is I can interpret numeric data summarized in stem and leaf plots. So a stem and leaf plot is used to organize data as it is collected. So each number is broken down into a stem and a leaf, which is why it's called stem and leaf plot. The stem includes all digits except for the last one of the number. And then the leaf will always be one digit. So the stem can be more than one digit. But the leaf is always one digit. And then sometimes a stem and leaf plot has a key um, that shows how to read the graph. So if we look at this one, it's a list of math scores organized in a stem and leaf plot. It gives us a key right here showing that 9 and then the line 4 means 94. So I can see that this is 74, 75, 77, 78. 79. This would be 105, 107, 108. So this problem asks us to find the median of the math test scores. So I'm going to write them all down um, least to greatest. So I'm going to start with 74. Then I'm going to find the median. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm just making sure that um, I wrote the right amount of numbers. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so that means I'm going to do this again just to make sure. All right, so I have two in the middle, so that means I need to add them together. And then divide by two. So my median is 88. All right, then it says find the average. So that means I need to add them all up and then divide by two.
All right, and then I'm going to divide by how many there are. All right, so my average is 88.85. All right, how many test scores are under 85? So less than 85. That is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What percentage of the math test scores are greater than 91? So how many out of 20 are greater than 91? And then we don't know the percentage out of 100. So greater than 91, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is times 5. So 8 times 5 is 40, so 40%. 40 All right, we are going to create a stem and leaf plot of the scores of a basketball team through the month of March. So I have my stem and my leaf. Remember that your leaf is only one digit. So I'm going to start with my 60s. So 65. I have a 67. 68. I think that's all my 60s, and I have 72, 74, 75, 78, two 78s. And I have my 80s. We got an 81. No 82s. 83. 84. 87. 88, 89, 92, another 92, 97, another 97, and we have the 100s, we have 106. 107, and then I'm going to make my key. All right, and then I'm going to answer my questions. So what is the mode of the basketball score? So most often that is going to be, we have 278s. We also have 292s and 297s. So that's we have multiple modes here. What is the range? The highest score is 107. The lowest score is 65. 
So I'm gonna subtract those. So my range is 42. How many games did the Chargers score below 80? That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. And then what percentage of the basketball scores are in the 90s? So how many of 20 are in the 90s? One, two, three, four. This is times five, so four times five is twenty, so twenty percent.